Hey Capricorns, I'm Rena Wells. I'm your spiritual catalyst and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm sure there's something here for you. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And for my returning subscribers, you know, I always hold a special place in my heart. So guys, I know I said I wasn't going to do sun, moon and rising, but um, readings, but I was pulled by spirit to do it. I am going to try and keep them to 10 minutes long because um, I know I can get carried away and I can go really deep. But um, we're going to do the gypsy spread. And if you're new to my channel, uh, just stick around because uh, this is an, a spread that was taught to me when I was eight years old at the cottage when I was just a little girl. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to do this. This is, a, this is an interconnection spread. You won't find it anywhere. This was passed down from a lineage from... I know this awesome woman that gave it to me. We're going to, um, I'm totally about inner balance, masculine and feminine energies, light and dark, yin and yang. So we're going to take a look at masculine and feminine energies. We're going to see where it's connecting for Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. And make sure you guys to take a look at the other uh, readings on my channel. And for the, you know, take a look at your chart because it's not just your sun chart, right? It's also your, uh, your Venus sign is very important because that's how you love and relationships. Your moon is important, your ascendant. So, you so it's kind of just putting it all together to make up your story. So this is for sun, moon, and rising. Spirit. So Capricorn for all YouTubers. YouTube watchers, thank you. There will be extended versions, but they are for my Soul Tribe family. But there is a membership every month. Um, but you get downloadable meditation. You get all the extensions on YouTube. You get coaching tips. Um, I've had some amazing feedback from people on there saying that it's really catalyzing. Now, I'm telling you guys, if you do sign up for my membership, I catalyze you very deeply, okay? I've completed my healing. I'm now in a very deep integration cellular process in my path, really changing things on a cellular level, changing things on a physical level. So, um, yeah, if you do want to work with me, I'm a very clear channel. So just so you know. Um, and if you do coach with me, I am going to take you deep into your dark to face that. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay. That's good, guys. So you guys, if you haven't seen this, you're going to love this. We're going to take four on the bottom. We're taking all upright for these ones. We have the moon is the first one out. Okay. So the moon here is really, um, I'm just moving some cards down away. Uh, some secrets that are being hitting caps. Okay. About a new beginning. Okay. We also have two of cups. So there is a secret relationship that's happening here. Um, it's, uh, coming to the end of a, a lot of responsibility here for this individual, whoever you're thinking of. Okay. But everything is very hidden right now. You may not know what's happening. Um, things are happening kind of like behind the scenes. We've got the fool. They want to take a leap of faith into a beautiful new connection and it is quite a burden right now. So depending on who you are in the situation, if, um, you're the one that's hiding things and you're leaving a situation and you are, um, taking a leap of faith towards a new relationship as well, that could be also your situation. Cause remember I am doing a general reading and there's thousands of people that watch these videos. So we put the emperor on the top and we take the top four. Okay. And then we're going to clarify. Thank you, spirit, the sun, moon and rising for Capricorn. There's not much to shuffle. So I really try to get in good. However, spirit does it. Okay. We're saying that's good. Okay. So this is how it goes. I used to do this all the time. It's, it's, you won't find this anywhere. I love the way that it shows all the interconnecting energies. We read from the center out and um, the center is really what's happening right now. And that's really what happens in your own manifestation in your own life. Everything happens from the inside out. Everything is from the inside out. You, uh, everything is from um, the thoughts and the energy that's running through you. So uh, what's happening in this spread, it's going to show what's happening from the center point and what's expanding out. So we're going to take a look here. Okay. Let's look here. So we've got divine masculine here right at the top. Okay. We've got divine feminine right in the middle. So divine feminine here is really taking a new path. There's a new stable offer. We have the page of pentacles right underneath her. So that's her new stability. This divine empress Capricorn. Okay. Could be, you could be the other person again, 
secret things that are happening in back in the background. So there's a stability that's happening here for Capricorn. Okay. So there's a brand new offer that the universe is bringing in something very stable here and it's slow moving. So I feel like it's part of mission. It's part of manifesting what's happening in your life right now. Um, you're looking at how you get stuck in the in the world because we also have the Ten of Swords right at the bottom, okay? So when the Ten of Swords is down here, this is Divine Empress here is really looking at, I'm ending things that are no longer good for me. It's like, I'm not, and, and this is what I'm getting from the Empress energy right now is like, um... I'm not even going to contemplate it because you guys already know you've got, you've done the healing, you're, you've been working through your stuff and you're like, um, that's not good. No. And that's, and you don't have to be aggressive about it. You can just be like, no, that's not good for me. And I'm not doing that because I know where that takes me. Right. Because we have to become very honed in on our vibrations now, guys, especially where we're moving in the twin flame journey. It's really about cultivating a very potent, high vibration type of energy so that we can bring healing to the planet. And when you're on this path, uh, universe really gets serious with you to end things. So there's really an ending, a lot of endings that are happening here for you. You are connected more telepathy wise. It's right at the top here. Okay. Sorry, I've got my light there as well. The emperor is uh, right on top of the, of the feminine. So a lot on your mind could be about your divine masculine right now. We've got, um, with the stability, you're making decisions here in regards to relationships, okay? Do I want this? Do I not want this? So divine feminines are being very, uh, yeah, very, very picky about what they want. Do they want this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you know? And it's like, no. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pick and, and we're just clarify a little bit here. So spirit in regards to, um, yeah, what I'm seeing is because everything is hidden. So oh, thank you, spirit. Spirit wants me to take it back to the divine feminine. So feminine energy here, they're saying that feminine um, could be doing a lot of things behind the scenes as well. And it could be the masculine as well doing things behind the scenes because it's a direct mirror between the two. Okay. So when you're truly in a twin flame connection, how it happens, it's like you're kind of pulling yourself back. You're taking a leap of faith for a new direction. Hey, we're going to clarify this two of cups here with this, with the fool. Thank you. Yeah. Six of cups, soulmate card. Okay. So someone from your past. So this is about taking a leap of faith with someone from the past. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Could be that you're also in the past thoughts about somebody, but I really feel it's not. No, there's, there's definitely things that are breaking down here. Okay. So I feel like, uh, Capricorn, what's happening is foundations are being, uh, uh, broken down. There's awakenings that are happening. There's, I feel things that have, this relationship, this connection has been hidden in the dark because we have the moon here, right? Secrets. Things aren't quite out in the open. Let's clarify the 10 of wands that's here on the bottom. I'll put that over here. You guys can't see it. I'm using my laptop today. Um, yeah. So about being abandoned and left out in the cold. So a lot of burdens. I feel like this connection has been very much burdensome for you and you're really moving away from any type of conflict and fighting in your life. Okay. So chariot with the five of wands. You're like, I'm done. So even if this connection has fallen apart, um, you are really looking for new love too, right? So you're open. I feel divine feminines that are here in the middle of the reading because it's the center of the read. It's, it's like, I'm going to let things fall apart. It doesn't matter. I am thinking about this person in the past, but I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to be open to love no matter how it shows up. So if it's going to show up in, um, someone from the past, that's fine. Or if it's going to show up with somebody um, new, that's fine too, because the universe will bring you whatever you're manifesting in your life, right? So what we have here is really sitting um, and making decisions that are proper for your new beginning, okay? Divine feminine energy, looking at where you're stuck, looking at how to move forward and ending things as you wish, because you're like, that's not good. That's not good. Divine masculine is doing very much the same thing. Divine masculine is more in a stuck energy is what I'm getting, but slow, so slowly progressing and looking at He's sitting right at the top here, right, with the lovers. So right at the top of the reading here with the lovers here. And it's an upside down is what I'm feeling more for the divine masculine is like um, wanting harmony in relationships, wanting to fix things in relationships and really looking at making decisions. So let's clarify that for divine masculine. Divine masculine clarified, uh, clarify, please, spirit, divine masculine with the lovers. Yeah, we've got the nine of cups looking at what 
what is their wishes fulfillment right now? Where are they? Where are they happy? What are they? What are their wishes fulfillment? What do they want to create in the physical world? Now, divine masculine isn't thinking of ten of cups. They're thinking of material base. This is a material base type of energy. Sorry, the light is. Doo -doo -doo. So this nine of cups, it's 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 wishes fulfillment, but it's more on a material base. It's like okay, so. Um, how I'm going to have my money, how I'm going to have my, I want my love, I want this, I want that, but it's not, the only thing that's missing from the nine of cups is the, is the one cup, which is uh, the spiritual connection, right? The soul connection. What? Wow. Divine masculine, really looking at healing. We have the star, we have the nine of swords, we have the hermit, a lot of major arcana here, guys. Woo. Sorry, two major arcana, but with on top of the emperor, but really, uh, you know, and, and a lot of pain and it could be third party situation that you're dealing with. Somebody is getting in the way. Okay. Of this connection could be karma, something karmic that's getting in the way. And there's a lot of pain here because of the materialism. That's really what I'm feeling. This isn't some, this isn't something that the, the that the, the emperor wants with you, uh, the masculine wants with you is wishes fulfillment. They want 10 of cups, right? What they're dealing with right now is there's something of some heartbreak that they need to heal. They they're going within to recognize what they're actually destined for. What's their actual calling? Where, where are they supposed to move? Right? Because this is um, situation is very heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for them and it's slowing them down that's what the knight of uh cups is here so why are they slowed down here with the three of swords yeah temperance yeah they're waiting they're not really doing much right now they're sitting and waiting before they take a passion action they're trying to balance we have the temperance here and we have the knight of this could be very lust as well so what's keeping them kind of in this dynamic which can be very painful is lust okay and um oh, the color just changed that's weird <laughs> the sun just went down so that could be it and so yeah and sitting here waiting for your ships to come in and planning and saying how am i going to move forward so divine masculine is sitting here more in that painful place uh, let's see how divine masculine feels towards um feminine yeah, they're dealing with a lot of material stuff. They're going within, okay? So they have pulled their energy back. They're really looking at what they want to create in their life, okay? So let's take a look and see what's going on with them. Divine masculine towards divine feminine. Yeah, seven of swords. So I feel that's more of strategizing, trying to figure out how do I come towards the divine feminine now? I have no idea how to come towards this This beautiful powerful woman <laughs> really truly right if you're in divine feminine energy that's where you're at so let's clarify how does my masculine feel towards divine feminine oh yeah king of wands passionately wants to come forward yeah yeah and let's see divine feminine towards divine masculine well She's sitting in some divine masculine energy right now. Divine feminine is really getting focused in her life, gaining a lot of clarity and using the masculine energy in the connection between the bodies, between the masculine, and the feminine energy, between the one body to build up her family, to build up her stability, to build up her calling, to build up her life. Okay. And that's why she's getting really down serious. All right. So that was your reading. That's for uh, December. Okay. First to the 15th for Cal. Let's have some healing messages for you. And if you're going to be coming to the extended, just know that when you do purchase the, um, it's cancel anytime, guys, my membership, you can try it out for a month. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it, right? Um, you got a downloadable CD. There's coaching tips on there. I totally work in how to balance internal masculine and feminine energies, okay? Dark and, and, and light. Let's have some healing messages. Is what messages spirit do you have for Capricorn Sun Moon and rising for my youtubers so in the extended what we're going to go into is we're going to actually take a look at masculine energy feminine energy and then we're going to take a look at how they're reacting um, connecting in their relationship right now um, and going more into masculine energy and uh, yeah, what they're, what they're feeling, what they're um, doing in their life right now. Okay. Any message, Sarah? Nothing. Come on, give me one. I feel like one's going to come out now. <coughs> so, there we go. 
nothing about speaking truth. Um, when I cough like that, that these divine masculines haven't been able to come forward. That's why there's a lot of secrecy that's being hidden right now. Okay. So the healing message that's here is rest. Okay. So there's a lot. I, and that's what I feel. I don't feel divine masculine is coming forward right now. I feel that they're in a rest period. I feel divine feminine is also taking a break from this and working on herself and ending things. And, and in her life, that's not good for her really focusing on herself, focusing on, um, what's good, how to move forward, how to build up her, her money, her stability. And divine masculine is sitting here in a lot of pain and having to look forward and, and trying to figure out how they're going to move forward. Okay. So again, guys, if you like that, please like and subscribe. If you want to work with me, all that information is down below. And if you would like coaching, please hit up the link down below. It is an application form uh, to do a free session with me. But again, if I do deny you, it's because you haven't given me enough info. I need I want depth. I want, and I can intuitively feel if we're ready to work together. Okay. Um, and that's the only way I'll give the free session. Um, also if you want to join the membership, uh, for the month, it's, uh, all the info again is down below. We're going to go into the relationship between divine masculine and divine feminine for December. We're going to see where they're connecting and, um, yeah. And if not, I would love to hear your comments and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Uh -huh.